Putin has made a move now to revive the Wagner force that had earlier been led by Evgeny Prigozhin, who was killed in a suspicious looking air crash last month. Putin has now appointed Andrei Troshev, a very decorated Russian military officer and recently also associated with Wagner, now to take charge of several of the Wagner units to gather them into a number of uh, voluntary units as these mercenaries are a bit politely being called and to put them into combat operations in fighting with Ukraine. Clearly, Putin is keen to gather these units because there had been some concern about these units. Concern that the soldiers could get scattered and individually cause difficulties or in fact even get together in units small or large and potentially become a rebel force and that would be uh, in reaction to the loss of their leader to whom they are reported to have had intense loyalty. But shifting loyalties among mercenaries perhaps is not that surprising. A number of them are believed now to have signed quite uh, juicy contracts with the Russian Defense Ministry to form units to then fight on the Ukraine front. They will be under charge of Troshev. Troshev himself has been associated as a commander of the Wagner Group and in fact Putin now says that Troshev was the real commander all along. Real or not, certainly he was associated with Wagner. He was a, a veteran of the Afghanistan war, then the Chechnya war and then more recently the Syrian war where he won the Hero of Russia medal for leading an assault operation in that war. This is now going to be a bit of a challenge for uh, Troshev. It's far from clear whether these units that uh, have been gathered together, these remnants of the old Wagner forces that have been gathered together, will be able to get together and cohesively form the kind of fighting force that Wagner was under Prigozhin. Prigozhin had led uh, Wagner forces into the capture of Bakhmut, the only success really that the Russians have had in this war ever since they launched this war or the special military operation as they call it in February of 2022. Other than that Bakhmut operation, it has been one reversal after another for the Russians on one front after another, even on the eastern side of uh, the Ukraine where the areas that have been captured by the Russians, they have uh, experienced and suffered substantive losses. They have lost about 50% of the area they captured after the launch of the operation in February of last year. So this is now turning out to be a scenario where Wagner is stepping back into the operations, whether it is the same Wagner, even if it comprises some of its old members and soldiers, is not very certain. We will see from the result of this unit whether Troshev is able to achieve with the remnants of Wagner what Prigozhin could with Wagner as a fighting force.